The rural Eastern Cape. Life here is on the periphery of the economy as people just get by. Thousands of people ended up here as they were dispossessed of their land under colonial rule. But the fertile land here holds economic value. Local farmers in the Ngobo area want young people and women to work the land, grow food and become economically active. Farming is so important. It's, like, it's, so, it's life. That's what I can say. Each and every woman must practice farming. Because you know, we're just engaging to a space that was dominated by the male. And the departments are looking for women. The funding is based on women, especially women in youth. Yeah, but, so, each, I mean, what I would say, if you are a woman, you have time. Just go back to your roots. Because we were raised by the parents that were busy with farming. Not even a single day we sleep without having food because they were practicing farming in our backyards. Success requires hard work, but it is already paying off for some. I was born in 2019, in November, and I was born in profession. I started PIGAR in November 2019. I'm a social worker by profession. I was employed by the Social Development Department in Port Elizabeth in Motherwell. But I realized this is not for me. That's when I decided to go and be with my people in the villages and start my pigar farming. I wanted them to see me making it possible to flourish in front of them. There is help at hand for aspirant farmers for training, but also access to markets. Um, today we are here to motivate the farmers that let's work the land. Most of the time they lose hope because they don't know where to sell their produce. We are here as Dikla to say, we are here for you, we are here to buy whatever produce you have, as long as you follow the, follow, uh, the, the correct steps for, 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 uh, to plant that produce. We have over 120 uh, workers uh, that we have employed permanently. We, have, we, will be, we are receiving learners or a learnership program over 500 students mid-April. We also have old people that are coming to our farm. Um, I'm talking about Queenstown only, but we have other people in other provinces where we are working. An example here, just here in Ngobo, we have a project of ex-mine workers, which we will be launching by the end of this month. That project alone will create more than 30 jobs. The provincial government also sees agriculture as an important pillar in the fight against poverty and restoring human dignity. Uh, this month it's a human rights month and by giving back people land we are restoring their dignity. And by doing that we are also securing food and food is a human right issue. You must have food, you must have shelter, you must have water. The government also believes a successful land reform program will address the high level of economic inequality prevalent in South Africa. Atule Joga, SABC News, Lutwekwe Village, Ngobo, Eastern Cape.